identification. In that case, we need to take the salt solution and to that ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide are to be added. Now I am taking a small quantity of the salt solution. And to this I am adding ammonium chloride. After adding ammonium chloride, then I am adding ammonium hydroxide. Now, after adding ammonium hydroxide, a white color precipitate is formed. If the white precipitate is formed, then uh, third group cations. That too in the third group we have aluminium and ferrous ions. And in the case of white color precipitate, it is aluminium ion may present. If aluminium ion is present, then we need to do the confirmatory test for this. So again in the case of confirmatory test, we need to take the salt solution and to this uh, sodium hydroxide is to be added. Now a white gelatinous precipitate is formed and this precipitate is soluble in excess of the reagent. So now the precipitate is formed and is also dissolved. Now aluminium ion is confirmed. If ever, if ferrous ion is present, then in the same third group, now I am taking a ferrous salt solution and this ferrous salt solution I am taking in a small test tube and to this again I am adding a pinch of small quantity of this uh, ammonium chloride then again I am adding ammonium hydroxide now the light green precipitate is formed in the case of this ferrous ion then if ever we get this green color precipitate then we need we need to say that ferrous ion may present and we need to do the confirmatory test for this ferrous ion in the case of this confirmatory test we need to take the salt solution and then uh, sodium hydroxide is to be added. Now I am taking the ferrous sulphate salt solution. Now I am adding sodium hydroxide to this. This is the sodium hydroxide. Now a green precipitate is forward upon adding this sodium hydroxide solution to the verification of third group cations that is ferrous and aluminium ions are ferrous and aluminium ions are oxid. Then we need to proceed for the identification of the fourth group cations. In the case of fourth group cations, to the same solution that is solution and uh, that is salt solution, ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide, we need to add hydrogen sulphide to the same. Now, here a white precipitate is a forward. If the white precipitate is a forward, then fourth group cations may present. In the fourth group, we have the zinc and the magnus ions. If a white precipitate is a forward, then zinc ion is a present, then we need to do the confirmatory test. So in the case of confirmatory test, I am taking the salt solution and to this salt solution, I am adding the sodium hydroxide. Little sodium hydroxide I am adding. Here, a white gelatinous precipitate is formed upon adding sodium hydroxide to this zinc salt. If ever we add some more sodium hydroxide to this, the precipitate is dissolved 
thoroughly. If the precipitate is dissolved on adding excess of the reagent, then zinc ion is conserved. Suppose in case of the fourth group, if manganese salt is present, then I am taking a manganese salt and again to this salt solution, ammonium chloride I have added, ammonium hydroxide added, then I am adding the fourth group reagent that is hydrogen sulphide in addition with ferrous sulphate, sorry, in addition with uh, ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide. Here, a buff color precipitate will be formed. In such case, manganese ion is present. If manganese ion is present or may present, then we need to do the confirmatory test for that. Here, I am taking a manganese salt and into this, I am adding sodium hydroxide. And here also, a buff color precipitate or the pale pink color. If ever we observe the test tube clearly, then only we will be finding that it is a pale pink color precipitate is formed. In such case, manganese ion is confirmed. If no precipitate is formed in the identification of fourth group cations, then we need to proceed for uh, identification of the fifth group cations. In such case, we need to take the salt solution and to that uh, a small quantity of ammonium chloride and uh, ammonium hydroxide are already added to the salt solution. Now I am adding ammonium carbonate. Yes. Now a white color precipitate is a formula. If the white precipitate is formed in the identification of the fifth group cations, it may be a barium, it may be a calcium. Then we need to do the confirmatory test for that. In the case of confirmatory test, I am taking the salt solution. I am taking the salt solution and to this I am adding barium chromate, potassium chromate. A yellow precipitate is forward. If yellow precipitate is forward, then barium ion is confirmed. If no yellow precipitate is forward, then calcium ion is confirmed. So with this, the five groups are over. If ever we don't get a precipitate even in the case of the fifth group cations, then the only two cations that may present are one is ammonium ion and other is this magnesium ion. No group reagents are available for these two. We must do these two cations separate. So first of all, let us do identification of this ammonium ion. So there I am taking the salt, ammonium salt and to this I am adding a sodium hydroxide. And if ever this test tube is uh, shaken thoroughly or is heated little bit, then if pungent spelling gases are evolved, then ammonium ion may present. If pungent spelling gases are evolved, then we need to mention that uh, pungent spelling gases are evolved, then ammonium ion may present. Then we need to do the confirmatory test for ammonium ion. And the confirmatory test for this ammonium ion is for ammonium ion is uh, Nestle's reagent test. That is, we need to take uh, this uh, ammonium salt solution and to this I am adding Nestle's reagent. Now, the brown precipitate is immediately formed after adding Nestle's reagent into the salt solution. If the brown precipitate is formed, then ammonium ion is confirmed. Suppose if pungent spelling gases are not evolved on adding this is sodium hydroxide to the salt, then ammonium ion is absent. Then the only cation that may present or that is left over is magnesium ion. And for that, we need to take the salt solution and to that ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide are already added to this 
Now I am adding sodium hydrogen phosphate. Now a beautiful a white precipitate is formed upon adding sodium hydrogen phosphate and ammonium adopted ammonium chloride to this magnesium salt solution. If white precipitate is formed, then magnesium ion may present. Then we need to do the confirmatory test for this magnesium ion. Again, I am taking the salt solution and to this sodium hydroxide I'm adding. Now a white precipitate is formed. If the white precipitate is formed, then magnesium ion is confirmed. See, with this, all the cation identification is completed. That means we got a cation and anion present in the given salt. And the last step is the report. In the case of report, first of all, we need to mention cation, name and the symbol or formula. Anion, name and uh, symbol or formula. And then after salt, both cation and anion are to be added. So name of the given salt and the formula of the given salt with this qualitative analysis experiment is allotted for qualitative analysis for the physical examination that is the physical state color solubility action of heat two marks and for the detection of anion four marks and for the correct identification of group and confirmatory test three marks and for the report one mark that is overall 10 months. The most important thing in the practicals is you must write what you are doing in the laboratory on the paper. Normally what will happen is some students will do the experiment correctly and they will be getting the correct KT and anion but while writing they don't write all the tests which they did. So if they don't write the test which you did, though it may be a negative test, if you don't write them, then marks will not be given. That the most important thing is everything must present on that answer booklet. Then only marks will be awarded. So qualitative analysis is completed, volumetric analysis completed. And the last one is identification.